Hey there, let play one, two, three, four. Hey, one in Emily. Hey, Ed, how are you guys? Welcome. So we're gonna do a quick unbox of the X60 that I just got. Um, how are you guys today? Hello. <laughs> All right. So it seems like we have at least three people here. So I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm not not bad at all, considering it's a Monday, right? You were missing my face. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I was missing you guys as well. What is this, uh, Wix? This is an X60, a black X60. Not series uh, 60 keyboard. So without further ado, so let me just... This is a keyboard stream, yes. Let me refresh because I'm not seeing my stats as of right now. Yeah, it still says that I am offline on Twitch, go figure. Anyways, I know I'm not offline, so let me get started. Let's start this unboxing at once. Hey man, what's up man? This was actually shipped from Canada and I think it used EMS, but I did not get text. Hey, Big Mac Muffin. Okay, yeah, you do that. We don't want to get you fired over this. <laughs> this is very well packaged, by the way. So we have one of the plates here. I think it's supposed to come with two plates. Let's see. Oh wait. Oh, never mind. For a minute I thought, where is the PCB? But it's a standard 60%. Okay, this is a beauty. So we have bump ons here. Let me switch to the action cam. So we can take a look first at this nice brass plate oh yeah keyboards over overwork <laughs> look at that shine this is a uh, one of those rough finish there's a little thing here not a big deal small Blemish, nothing major. And then of course we have the main event. It's quite heavy as I expected. Take a look at the black plate. It's beautiful as well. And then of course the weight. X60 limited to a hand. Yeah, it's standard V1, correct. I have plenty of HH key bees coming, so I thought I'd jump at this one. Yeah, this is a proper plate. Look at that. Beautiful. So let me see if I can take out those screws. So we can look into more detail. Hope that I have the correct thing for this. Let's see. 
say I do. Take this top view out of the way. Yeah, I like Alu very much as well, right? Take a look at the angle. Yeah. And I don't know what the hell is happening with my with my ES one twenty one, but sometimes it just won't come up. And I have to plug it in to make it work. So let me do that. I know there's a there's a I think an open source firmware for this thing show, so I might replace it with that. Uh, I'm probably gonna do two builds, maybe. And then, I don't know yet. But I'm, I was thinking about that. Okay, now it's working. The screw is a little too tight, it seems. Grab a tray. Oh, the chat overlay was it? What? Um, it's a good question because I have I have the three uh, DZ sixties that I could use. The, yeah, and then I have a ZO. So I'm thinking about using the ZO sixty for this. And the only thing that is making me re reconsider is that it doesn't have an underglow. But it, yeah, so that's that may be the the board to use the ZO sixty. I may use the ZO sixty for this. I'm still I'm still not sure about the brass plate versus the black one. To be honest. Oh, this thing is super tight. The, the screws fit a little too tight, in my opinion. Doesn't look like uh, the, the way it's supposed to be. Let me, let me show you guys. No, not this one, that one, yeah. Sorry for this, guys. I'm trying to figure the best angle here. And... There you go. Oh, and now I'm leaning backwards. You want to use the breastplate? Maybe. Maybe I'll use the breastplate. Yeah, I think it looks better. And I have no idea on keycaps yet. I have so many blackboards now. Man, what a pain this is being like. This ES 161 to 121, I'm sorry. Come on. But when it works, it's awesome. Yeah, but then again, this is too tight, so I need to do the first ones myself.
I don't know why my camera does that sometimes. I need to find a way to turn that off. That one is really tight as well, like super tight. This one is not that tight. have this opened. Oh man, I want one of those Key X3. Where are you picking that up? So this we already seen. Let me see if I see any streaks. Yeah, there are streaks here, even though the anodizing is nice. I don't know if you'll be, uh, you can see it clearly on camera, right? Let me focus. There are two major streaks here, three actually. Can you guys see the streaks? So that's the only part, and it's really visible. It's not something like that you need to pay a lot of attention to see. That's really there, the anodizing. That's not something I saw, and it's throughout the whole case. Like even on the back, can you see that? It's the worst, worst streaking I've seen yet. Oh, I can't, I can't compare that right now. I actually have the tofu right here. Let's take a look. But I think I don't see any streaks on my tofu other than fingerprints, a lot of fingerprints. Those are all like fingerprints. I've been using this board a lot. But like, we can do like probably a side-by-side -side comparison. Let me see if I can manage to do that. We need light to see the streaking. You see the difference? Of course, this is dirtiest, but let me see. So it's not a fair comparison because this is really dirt, dirty. Okay, now take a look at this anodizing. Like it's really well done. No streaks, even if you look side on the side here. There are no streaks. Every imperfection that you see is my fingers, my greasy fingers. But I think this anodizing looks really good versus uh, the X60 that is not. The streaking is very, very clear. You can clearly see it. Did I hit it? Sorry. <laughs> I didn't even notice. That's how stupid I am. Look at that. Yeah, it's throughout the entire board, the streaky. Let's take a look on the inside. I really like the <laughs> anodizing on the inside. 
We can look at the back as well. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's a whole lot streaking in the back. The anodizing in the back looks really good. It's just, you know, throughout the thing, there's a lot of those streaking. I don't know if that's common on the X60s, but I didn't anticipate it having those streaks. And they're really visible and, and then when I'm looking at it, like on the naked eye as well. It's not only something you capture on the camera and you can't even notice. Even looking at the, 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 the base here, I can see that. Yeah, that is, that's really a bummer, I want to say. Yeah, I'll need something else to clean this properly. I'm not going to try to do that. So there's an X60 on the inside. And you can see there are a lot of scratches on this weight. Let's see if I can get a good camera view of that here. So there are scratches here. Not that it matters, right, on the inside. But there are a few there, there are a few more here. Who knows if you got, yeah, here and those. Then on the back, I see only one minor scratch. Nothing that, nothing bad, to be honest. So let's take a look at this top piece and integrated plate. Yeah, and uh, I don't know if you guys can see, hopefully you can. There are streaks here as well on the top piece. I don't know a good way. Do you guys know? <laughs> yeah, it is amazing. I think so. And then the Top plate. This one is aluminum, of course. Aluminum, of course. Just wanted to see if it wasn't um, steel, but no, this is aluminum. So this is it. This is the. X60 that I'm gonna be putting together eventually. What do you guys think? I think it looks really good. Except from the streaks that I said are really visible in, with the naked eye. Yeah, I like the feeling of aluminum as well. That's why I was considering this versus this. But this is a thick aluminum, I think it's, no, it's the regular thickness. I think it's 1.5 millimeter. So it looks so good, right? I, I agree. The only thing that is kind of a downer is the streaking. That is not as apparent on this camera, but you can still see it. There, there it is. You see the streaking? That's the only misfortune on this board, but it does look amazing. So, um, before I wrap this up, guys, do you guys want to see any particular things? Yeah, I think you're right, Panda. It will look a little bit better with the Z60. It's super clean. It's a very clean board. I really like it, the design. I love Noxeris designs in general. Size by size, yeah, I'll be glad to. Let me see if I can assemble this back together to give up. I don't think I need to, right? Let me just take the brass out of the way and we can definitely do a comparison first here and then side by side. So let's put one like this in front of the other from the above. This is not very helpful, I think. So let's see what I can show you. Let's do this. Let's move them both like this. And then let me first focus. And then we can probably get like a better side view of them.
So let's see. The angle is very similar. Let me see if I can get a. So from the top, from the front, the tofu is actually a little bit taller, like maybe two millimeters. I don't know how much. Let's uh, let's put them side by side to see if we can compare. Yeah, the only yeah, of course you're paying here for top mount. Oops, sorry about that. Let me see if I can give you guys a better feeling when you move things aside. So if we put them side by side like this. And we go back to the action cam focus. They have some very similar angles. Let me see if I can improve the light. Give me one second. Let me just hold the position for this camera. Let me play with the light a little bit. Yeah, but they are very, very similar, to be honest, in terms of angles, right, of course. Uh, any other position that I can show you? You can see the back here. Let me show you the back, uh, right side focus. Um, those are the backs. Let me take my ugly face out of the way so you guys can see it hopefully a little better. So that's from the back, moving the lights back where it was. Tofu, and then let me move this one closer. So those are the two boards from the back. Sorry, not this one, this one. Here you can see them both from this angle. Yeah, so for, uh, top mount has a, always a better sound in my experience. We move them. Uh, Move this one to the back and put our main attraction here on the front. There you have it, them both. Any other particular angles? Uh, maybe the back, oops, I forgot that this is not. Okay, let me do an analysis on the collar. Let me move back to here. Move this aside a little bit so I can compare the collars. Um, <laughs> it's really hard, but let me try. Why don't I do that? Ah, damn it, I always forget that this is not screwed in. So they are almost identical colors. I think that the Noxery is a little darker. I don't know if you guys can see it, probably not on camera, but it seems to me that Noxery is a little blacker than the Tofu. Exactly, Wix. It is a, a, a little bit darker, but it's really hard to capture on camera, but it is a, it's like, it's barely noticeable, but you can still note that it's a little bit darker. Yeah, it is, it is darker. I can, I can tell that it is. Yeah, so. This one has um, eight fixation points. No fixation, no, no points on the sides, but I think eight is plenty. And it, it feels really firm, like if it was like a one, 
I only get some flex around here, but if I even push it where the modifiers are here, there is barely any flex. You can see that there is flex. Let me see if I can give you a good look of that. Yeah, we won't be able to see it, but if I maybe if I do it here on the bottom, you see that you can see the, the tray changing. But if I move a little bit there, there's still a little bit of flex, but it's not bad. If I do it here, though, there is zero flex. Yeah. So, guys, uh, any anything else uh, besides the color that I can show you? So. If not, uh, let me just say that tomorrow at around 6 p.m. Eastern, I'm gonna put together another board. Let me see if I can get, get it here. I am going to be doing yet another blackboard that we can compare as well. I'm gonna be putting together this Duck Viper V2. And we're gonna use Holy Pandas, and the key set's gonna be the Solarized Dark. So if you have time tomorrow around 6 p.m. Eastern, don't forget to tune in so we can build this board together. The X60 is still to be defined, Wix. Um, I, I need to see, because I have a few boards to to build and actually tomorrow, instead of doing this, I was going to do the TKC 1800 because Jason from the key company, he wanted to basically tune in into my stream to build the board together. Um, and then he wanted to use that stream as the guide for putting together the TKC 1800, almost like a quote unquote official guide. But the thing is, he can't on Tuesdays, so I'm definitely going to do the Duck Viper tomorrow. And then X60, I still need to see. Does that make sense? But I think this is going to be a very fun build. Um, of course, I'm looking forward to the Z60 as well. That, that will be my first. Um, but yeah. Very cool, right? Yeah, I, I, I thought too as well. All right, anything else, guys? Otherwise, um, I think the gray TKC is my favorite color so far. Mine is like a different kind of blue. I think you guys may have seen it. I like this color as well. I don't dislike it at all. But it's a harder combination for key sets. I, I still don't know which key set I'm gonna use with this. Maybe, maybe muted, maybe 9009, I don't know yet. I think it's cool as well, like I like it. I like it a lot. It's just that the one that Anthony put together, I think is one of my favorites for our plastic finishes. Nautilus, yeah, I have Nautilus, but it has been on my minivan for so long that I'm kind of attached to it. I, I should change it, right? This is my minivan, by the way. I, I love this board. It has uh, loop zilios. So I love the sound of this keyboard. I think the K's is also really good sound-wise. Yeah, uh, the thing is, um, my laser just left New Zealand today. So it's gonna be like at least two to three weeks until I get my hands on it.
No, there is a plate. Uh, let me I can take out one of those keycaps. I think it's a steel plate. Let me see. Yeah, steel plate. I wouldn't, I, I don't like plateless boards at all. I don't know if I would have a plateless board. This board, I always use it, and look at this. I have a Mr. Keeps. Um, I use this for traveling. I use this for working on a Starbucks. Oh yeah, polished steel. Yeah, I love the, the case as well. And that mini vent thing there is super cool. There is a ghetto thing I had to do here. Uh, These feet are actually, I didn't have the screws at the time. So I used like two sided tape and I regret doing that, but it's okay. Hey, Abmit, you're, you're kind of late, but I can show you the, the thing we just unboxed. This is the Noxery 6, uh, X60. It has an aluminum, um, this aluminum case and a brass plate. And we found out that the only problem with this board is the streaking. You can clearly see uh, on the anodizing. Other than that, it's a beautiful, beautiful small board that we put together. And then I was telling people that tomorrow is the day when we're gonna build this Duck Viper. And people suggested that I put this key set on my TKC 1800, but I said that I'm way too attached to my minivan with this key set, so I would have to give that some thought. Yeah, did you guys did you guys join Kumo? I did because I'm a fan of this board. I'm so much of a fan that I want another one. Oh yeah, sorry, I forgot about the other plate. It came with this brass plate as well, which is gonna be like allow me to do maybe two different builds for the same keyboard, which is always interesting. Wix, uh, you're gonna make your own 50%? Let me know. But uh, did you guys see this TMO 50? Oh, here I am typing on something that is not connected. I don't know if you guys saw that. Um, I love that little board. Let me see if I can show you that. TMO 50 IC. This is the 50% the I'm talking about. I think it looks really good. Look at this. I think it's a super interesting board, like different from the usual. It's super wide, right? Uh, they say that it's gonna open on August. So hopefully it does. I would join this, to be honest. What do you guys think? Oh, wow, Wix, that's, that's amazing. If you need someone to beta test or to join, to help you with uh, funding for like for a small group buy or anything like that. I'm always game for those kinds of stuff. While I don't do my own board, eventually I wanna learn a little bit more about case design and PCB because I got a 3D printer that I want to play with. Um, especially for those small form factors, I think it's perfect. You don't like the blockers. I love the blockers. I think that's what makes it pretty unique. I would go for it as well, for sure. All right, guys, um, is there anything else you guys wanted to see? Otherwise, I will wrap this up and we can talk on Discord. So you guys have a good afternoon. Um, so, okay.
Let me bring up my other HHTB. So here's the status of my HHTBs. Let me. So this one here has um, BKA BKE lights. I did not lube it because it took me a while to replace the domes the right way. But I am definitely opening it again. Opening it again. I want to replace the silencers because they came with silencers, so I don't know which brand of silences, silencers those are. So I'm going to review. And I did this thing at the bottom uh, to also help with sound. I'm going to see if adding some sorbothane to the case itself helps with the sound. So this is BKA lights. And then this is my white one. And for the black one, uh, this also has Hasu Bluetooth. I ordered a second one for this one, but it didn't arrive yet. This one has the stock domes, but this one I did lube, and there are no silencers on this one yet. Oh, let me check that, um, Wix. Let me share so everybody can see it. So those are the two uh, HHKBs that I have at the moment. Um, the only two Topri boards that I have. So let's move on, move to the... So this is what we sent us. Oh, nice. So basically not having the num roll and everything else seems to be... Oh, I see. This is a very smart layout. Let me tell you that. Like, I love this left side here it's almost standard but not standard i see you reduced all the keys man i love this are you going to do this i would get this 7u here are you doing are you doing this with a case and everything or hand wire what's what's the story Man, this is this is a really cool idea. Props to you for coming up with this. I love that layout. I, I honestly do. So if you're if you're if you need someone to like do a private run or I don't know to prototype, I'm I'm game for that. So let me know. Definitely, I love the layout. Big props to you. Yeah, and you know what I like about the layout? Let me go back to that real quick. Is that you still get kind of the, the HHKB arrows out of this, right? You have the split shift on the right. So you still can kind of do an HHKB arrows here, which I'm a fan of. For sure. I really like it. I think it works even without the arrow keys, to be honest. Man, this is a very smart layout. Like seriously, I'm not, I'm not even trying to be nice or anything. It's just that I really like it. Props to you. All right. Anything else, guys, before we wrap this up? If you have anything else, just let me know. You know, you guys know that I don't mind extending the, the thing. All right, folks, you all have a great afternoon, night or whatever, <laughs> wherever you are. Um, so I'm going to finish this and I'll but I'll be on this and I'll be around. OK. Thank you very much for joining. And don't forget that tomorrow we're building that Duck Viper at around 6 p.m. Eastern. Okay? Take care, y'all. Bye.